welcome back to another episode of Game Team. Yeah. My son, by the way, Logan. Logan, say hi to the guys. Yeah. We're headed down to the track. Take the XRC out. And just kind of get a feel for the machine because uh, the racing season starts next weekend. Which we have some bummer news about that. Racing developments. So, politics seems to be coming into play into the snowcross racing season. Um, when we joined up and grabbed a membership, we saw that we had UTV snowcross coming to the CSRA, the Canadian Snowcross Racing Association, for the first time, which is uh, pretty cool and exciting. And they advertised that they were gonna be having two UTV races uh, each weekend that the uh, race circuit was scheduled. So, the first race being sort of like a main event race, or at least it sounds like to me, it's going to be a main event race because uh, they're putting up a purse prize or a cash prize, rather, of $5,000 winner takes all. So when I saw that, I was uh, pretty frothing at the lips and excited to uh, get the opportunity to race against well, guys with experience and race teams and all that jazz. Not that I, I would ever expect to win, and that doesn't matter because it's just be a shit ton of fun either way. But we paid the membership dues and we got involved and we registered for all the races we could that are coming up here. Uh, you keep registering as they come. But uh, our first race weekend got canceled. That was supposed to be in Ottawa, January 18th. Uh, due to no snow, obviously. So they pushed that back to the end of February. So uh, off to, uh, where are we going? We are going up to Lindsay, Ontario. So yeah, uh, we were waiting confirmation to find out if we were accepted into the races. And Basically, I sent them an email asking uh, when I might be finding out confirmation so I could get prepped for the races and stuff. So we've already got thousands of dollars in spare parts and stuff tested because uh, you can expect to have issues if you collide with car. Yeah, Robin's racing, that's the way it goes, right? So expect breakdowns, bring a few spare parts, just small things that you can get up and running real quick, radius, rods, axles. You guys have seen the boxes in the truck prior to this and stuff, but um, yeah, blah, 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 blah. Anyways. We get a message from the CSRA stating that we will not be eligible to race in the uh, Saturday night shootout $5,000 uh, purse race. Uh, Can-Ams are going to be excluded, uh, I do believe along with Honda, due to not supporting the event via sponsorship. So it turns out that Polaris and Yamaha have sponsored the CSRA for this racing season. And Can Am apparently opted out. Now I can't imagine as to why, or I guess I could imagine. I mean, they sponsor a boatload of events, so who knows? I don't know. Uh, maybe it comes down to marketing budget and a fiscal year or something of that nature. It's keeping us from racing and competing against these Polaris's and Yamahas because realistically, boys, they throw some Polaris S's out there, turboed. I don't really think there's going to be much competition unless some guys show up with some seriously. Uh, built up Yamahas and such. Uh, I think Kawasaki's allowed in as well, but uh, there will be no Can-Ams, which in my opinion is going to eliminate, well, a lot of the fun uh, real competition. I mean, we like to see these things uh, battle it out, right? So, just for pride alone, it's, it's the, the fun, you know? So, I don't know, we're torn. We're torn what to think about it. I mean, I understand the event organizer's um, political standpoint on it as, a Polaris sponsored race along with Yamaha and I'm guessing that the organizers and the sponsors don't want to see a Can-Am jumping through taking first place. Yeehaw. There goes the $5,000 put up. But I mean, you're torn man because that's racing, right? I mean, if you're going to put on a race and put up a prize, you know, your pride's there. So you should be willing to compete in my personal opinion. But again, that's personal. We're going down and we're going to compete in the the, uh, the season race series, which happens on the Sundays, and I'm assuming for points and all that, I'm not really sure my first crack at it. Um, I was really looking forward to the $5,000 purse races because I figured I could get down to three of these events possibly this season, and one in three shot at winning five grand. It sounded pretty good to me, considering they are locking it up to 16 cars, uh, maxing it out, so it is what it is. Again, disheartening it. No, they're going to go heads up racing and then winner moves on, moves on, moves on, right? So you'd have eight races initially to decide the winners, semi-final. You're going to have yourself another four races, heads up, heads up, sorry. 
vice versa until you come down to the final two cars. They race it out for five thousand dollars. If you can imagine, your dad was pretty. How much is the Pretty stoked about it. I think you're looking at like one. I want to say one eighty six or something. Don't quote Can me. Somewhere around there. Cam's got him with a couple horsepower with the uh, the turbo RR. Well, it depends. You know what I mean? They're going to have top speed on me, or or maybe they've got a better power curve through the mid band and stuff like that. You know, so they're all very comparable machines. So I mean, this is fun, right? Who's going to kick ass? You know, I think a lot of it's going to come down to for Snowcross tire choice and a bit of the driver, right? So be exciting, be exciting as hell, you know. So I don't know, man. It's kind of big bummer, big freaking bummer. So. I don't know. Let me let me know what you guys think about these uh, recent developments in the uh, the racing scenario. You think it's fair? You think Can Am should be able to compete because they didn't put up the the moolah? Or I don't know, man. Nevertheless, I'm not going to be a poor sport. We're going to go compete in the Sunday races regardless, and uh, probably get my ass kicked. But it'll be fun, nevertheless. Learning experience. I really look forward to it. There's Cody. Cody said delete that head. Want to reply? Well, I'm guessing he had a reply for you, buddy. No. Your message says, well, I'm guessing he had a reply for you, buddy. No. Ready to send it? No. Okay. I won't send it just yet. Let me know when you're ready to continue. Facebook bunch of bullshit kick another few out if you ain't supporting I don't even want you on there man you're gonna be sitting there chastising my buddy's friggin build cause he's he's making a joke Cody makes a joke posts a picture of his razor so he's chopping the cage bringing her down putting a mean ass look to her customize it People are like, are you inbred, idiots, you know, blah, 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 and your big tires and asphalt. It's like, really? How do you wake up, grab a coffee, and spout off shit like that beyond me? Yeah. Anyways. Yeah, we'll get back to you, boys. We get closer to the Bayside Trailblazers uh, dirt track, man. This is going to be wicked. Wow. That'll probably work for now. We'll grab you guys up, move it to some different locations. It's gonna get wet.
Gladiator right there, boys. Yeah. That looks sweet. 